Hello everyone, I am back with another video and tomorrow I will be going to Rio Doso or Plainview and since it's cold and we're going to be traveling a lot I'm going to show you what to open <clears throat> Hold on one second I'm going to show you what to pack when traveling with a chihuahua So yeah, let's get on with the video Okay, so first things first, you are going to need a bag. So let's go get my bag. Hey, where is it? Human, give me my bag. Give me my bag, human. <laughs> All right, so here's my bag. And it's this blue little purse that my sister or my owner got. And yeah. You want a treat? Good girl! Alright, so first things first, if you're going to be in a cold area like I am, you're going to need some clothes to stay warm, especially if you have don't have very much fur, like me. I mean, just look. Look at that. Do she wear much fur? I don't. I mean, unless you count the front tip of my tail. So yeah, let me show you some clothes I'm going to bring. I don't really have many clothes, so we the first outfit I'm going to show you is my sweater I'm wearing. Alright, the next outfit I have is my pajamas. And these are the ones I'm going to wear on a trip so I can stay nice and cozy and sleep well. My next outfit I have here is my little jacket. Look at it. Look at it. So now that we're done with my clothes, we're going to move on to other stuff. Mmm, this carpet smells good. <gasps> is that a treat? Human? Is that a treat? Yes, give me that. Give me that, human. May I have the treat? Thank you. Oh yeah. Mm, mm, mm. And guys, even though you're going to be in the car, just in case, it might be better to have your small dogs or something in a kennel, in a hard shell kennel, where it's safe from any accidents that could possibly happen. Also, even though you're in a car, don't forget to put a collar on your dog because this little feisty girl right here, even though we're in the car, let's just say she jumped out. But we were able to catch her. But if you have a fast dog and they jump out, they could get lost. But if someone sees them, they can use their, they can look at their eye at the dog's collar, see your phone number, and then hopefully you'll be reunited with your dog. So please put a collar on your dog for heck's sake. For the doggo's sake. Boop. Okay guys, so the next thing you're gonna want when traveling is since like humans, we guys get hungry. So you're going to have to feed us. So make sure to bring a, a bag of your dog's food, enough for a trip. Jill doesn't eat very much. She only eats about what's in that cup, of how much is in that cup. And this will probably last through a couple of feedings. And since we're going to be on a car trip, this should be just enough. And don't forget to get some treats. Because, I mean, if your dog's being so good on the trip, you might as well reward them, right? You want a treat? These are those Caesar treats, and Joe loves them. Come on, Joe. Whoa, good girl. Oh yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and put Joe's treats in, but since I start to feed her tonight and tomorrow morning, you might want to put this on your grab before you leave for us, because I mean they need to eat dinner too, right? Okay, so 
if when you're traveling and you want to stop, your dog could possibly have an accident. So make sure, even if you're potty trained, make sure to bring some puppy pads for them. I'd say probably to bring a few, probably like, let's see. These are our little training pads for puppies and dogs. And they're 24 hours, and we're not going to be in the car for that long, so this should last you quite a while. And all you got to do is just put these in your cage, line your cage with them. And puppy pads, the way they're folded, they can make them pretty thick, so don't, so this is just here as like one puppy pad, so don't get tricked by that. And yeah. I also might make, make sure to save some room for these in your bag. And if you have a dog who's eager to have their treats, you might want to hide them from them. So like, in this little pocket right here, uh, let's see, those treats are in this little pocket where they're hidden, so hopefully she won't, so she won't see them. Now, let's put these puppy pads in. So I've got her puppy pads on this side, and her clothes on this side. When traveling with a dog or animal or anything, um, some animals tend to be very picky, and they can also feel nervous when they're on when they're traveling. And since you're, if you're, or possibly the one driving, you don't. When you give them chances to eat, they need to eat, or else, you know, they're just gonna have to wait. So you probably, if, so if you really want to eat, give them something they really like. Um, I feed Joel Neutro. And I recently started mix, mixing her dry dog food with the wet dog food. And she loves the wet dog food. See? Do. Like that, huh? So I'll just let her pick at that. So make sure to um, give them something they really like so they feel comfortable. And they'll actually eat it when you offer them. And I keep Joel's dog, wet dog food refrigerated, so um, I keep her wet dog food refrigerated, so if you're possibly packing a little cooler, you might want to just throw this in there. I keep it in this little bin. Joe, okay, that's enough. She really likes it. I keep it in this little bin. It's chili. It's a little red Mexican chili. And then for some reason, no questions why it's AGB blended strawberry yogurt. I mean, Joel likes it. A quick thing to have when traveling is some napkins, just in case of any spills, and a bowl for when you're feeding, for when you're feeding your dog or you're giving them a chance to drink some water. Make sure to put a bowl in there because if you fill the bowl up with water and put it in a cage, it could possibly spill, and you might not know, and then your dog will get wet. So yeah, um, there is bowls that they sell that are that they pop up, but then they also get super flat, so they're easy to store. But I don't have one of those, unfortunately, so I'm just gonna use this little pink cup. You like that, Joe? I'm going to put Joe's napkins. Um, it's just two napkins that I folded and then I like split it, so like four little square napkins instead of re two rectangles. Um, I'm gonna put Joe's little napkins right next to her puppy pads. And then I'm also going to put her food her little pink dish in this little pocket with her treats. The price she hasn't smelled them. See, there's her treats. Also, if you have some last minute things that you need to grab, for example, your dog's leash or dry food after you feed him in the morning, it'd probably be better to write it on a, sneaky, a sticky note than probably put it in your front door or somewhere that you'll see it.
once you finish tapping your sticky note, you might as well go ahead and want to hang that somewhere on your door. It is also a good idea to go ahead and might as well wash your dog's clothes. Can't really see it, but they're washing it. This is always a good idea, so your dog feels more comfortable. And plus, their blankets smell good because, like, who would want to sit in a car for a few hours in a dirty bed? Stinky, dirty bed. So, yeah. Give your dog a little bit of more comfort by washing their stuff. And yeah, that's about it for what to pack when traveling with your dog. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please subscribe, comment, and like. And if there's anything else y'all think you should put when traveling for your dogs, please comment it down below. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon. Also, stay tuned for a new video coming out of Joel, of Joel on her trip. Plus, come on, like who doesn't like seeing dogs playing snow for the first time? Thank you for so much for watching, and see y'all later. Bye.